dying like two. Ladies and gentlemen, my mouse cursor is absolutely massive. Uh, I know nothing about it. As per usual, I've avoided the trailers, I've avoided demo gameplay, I've avoided any sort of an early look type thing, going into this completely and utterly blind, though I do know uh, some of the marketing stuff that they had done, talking about like how your decisions matter and how they they shape the future, and I... Games promise this a lot, but to do it right, it's a lot of work, and I don't... I don't anticipate they've done it in such an in-depth way that I can be like, wow, that was really awesome. I think it's going to be a bunch of small stuff. And I'm a little bit afraid that it's a, something of a gimmick that'll take over the entire gameplay experience, but we'll see. Going into it with an open mind, I absolutely loved Dying Light 1. I've, I played it on hard. The nighttime was absolutely terrifying. Really, really effective. The gunplay, though, and fighting against humans was pretty terrible and really brought the game down. The, the the second, I don't know, like, the final third of Dying Light 1 was just not good at all for me. I'm hoping Dying Light 2 is a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. Oof. Do I go for hard difficulty this time as well? At least I'm pretty sure I win with hard straight away my first time. I don't think I changed to it. I just remember the nighttime dudes being, like, really proper scary. Serious threat from the start, dealing more damage and adapting to player tactics with greater efficiency. Resource management, key. Merchants offer fewer craft parts, harder to find rare items during exploration. I'm gonna assume that I can change this midway. We're gonna go for normal difficulty. We can always bump it up then, if need be. I think normal will probably be fine though. Civilization is a vulnerable thing. A whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, Mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave, were desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. Chance for us to learn from history and for once make the right choices because every choice you make here shapes the future irreversibly.
You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> and you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. I remember at some point there was talk about people were nervous because there weren't any zombies in screenshots or footage or anything like that, and I guess this is their way of saying, like, no, 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 there are zombies, it's fine, don't worry. So I will say, it's a fairly okay looking game, but you may want to watch this on the 1440p60 video setting because... Uh, YouTube will not be doing it any favors, especially if the grass is going to be like this. So I'm just going to say it now. Even if you've just got like a 1080 monitor or something, if you got the internet for it, go ahead and bump it up to 1440p60. It will look significantly better. Also, for people with motion sickness, uh, there's not a whole lot more I can really do aside from what's already in. I apologize. Hold space to jump farther. Okay, well, I was under the impression I'd have to, like, sprint jump. Okay, we can jump. We can jump really far. Shit, man. You're still strong. Um. That's. That's a really wild jump. Wow. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Oh, you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Pretty sure they change your voice actor, like a lot. Survivor sense. Oh. We okay just to... Just to grab it, okay. If you test my patience, friend, you're doing really well. Well, thank, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment, Spike. It's not so easy. My survivor sense isn't really that great right now, Spike. I think I gotta, like, level up and maybe skill points into better survivor sense. Oh, actually, I think you there's a bunch up here. The last time we saw each other, huh? Back to work. Don't even need survivor yeah, sense. Look at me go. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Mm-hmm. Some sort of a healing poultice, I assume, to heal my scrapes and bruises from definitely not missing a jump or twelve. Blueprint, craft parts. Right. There's the craft parts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And medicine. Okay. Cool. It's a decent amount of craft parts. And it tells you... It tells you also where to find it, which is kind of nice. If you need to go on a certain farming expedition of sorts. That's cool. Skills for 54 seconds to apply just makes the one upgrade level. Oh, I thought that was like how many we've got. Okay. So things can really level up fast, huh? Or a lot, rather. Not necessarily Come fast. On. We almost there. 
I'm gonna heal up. Oh. This is it. Come on. Hmm. I'm betting there's the majority of zombies that can't fit through, though. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. So is there still like looting car bits and bobs from the DLC, I wonder? Or is it just going to be... Just a trunk, maybe? Guess we'll find out later. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use Survivor Sense. <laughs> I I don't remember if I used it much in uh, the first Dying Light or not. I feel like I didn't, because I kind of like just looking around myself. You also sort of get used to what you can open and interact with and all that. So I wouldn't expect I'm going to Survivor Sense too too much. That is a stinky newspaper. Who remembers Haran? Is there any hope left for the thousands of people trapped in Haran? Five years have passed since the city of Haran was isolated from the rest of the world. Residents who thought they'd found refuge from the virus now found themselves in a death trap, fending for themselves and denied aid from the outside. Why did any why did the world turn its back on Haran? Can a once thriving city and its thousands of residents simply be erased from history? More on page six. Hmm. We seem to just be on, like, auto-run all the time, by the way. The crane has just no chill with movement. Assuming we're the cr I don't even know if we are the crane. I mean, Spike knows- I don't know. I'm not sure who we are. What the- Aiden. Hey, everything all right? Aiden Crane. Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you, and you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Uh, Alright, bye, Spike. <laughs> Good. No, like, like, forever? Aw, oh, man. The Last Spring Party 2023, Tuesday, March 21st. Dance like it's the end of the world. Oh. I wonder what that stuff is. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. And it's just like lore stuff? Did I ever use this? I don't think I actually properly used this. Yeah, no. Nah. There we go. Yeah, it's just an artifact collectible. Alright. And then we came in from this way, I think. All right, Spike. So what's the deal? You're over here coughing and stuff. You're trying to leave me so suddenly. What's the scoop, my man? Okay. Fucking fine. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Sweet. Very sweet, and upsets your stomach. I wouldn't recommend it, Aiden the Crane. I found out how to pull my fists out. <laughs> Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Man, yeah, I don't really want to just spam Q all the time. I'll do it for this, though, because I'm not really sure what it's... Art? Wanted me to find exactly. But like, if I miss stuff, I miss stuff, you know? Because it's not like it lasts very long, the survivor sense. 
Nada. Zip. I assume that they've still got like leveling up and you spend points to upgrade things. So maybe we can like improve survivor sense and all that. A hide area. Oh, this is... This is a bad sign. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to figure out if we're at sunrise or sunset. Probably sunset. It'd be nice when time starts to move, because everything being this yellow. Ugh. Blech. It's like a Hollywood film set in Mexico or something. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. You see these cigarettes though? What a waste. Man, they barely did anything with those. Well, like, puff puff, drop it. It, that's it. And then light up another one. What the hell? I mean, I don't... I don't smoke, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty expensive nowadays, right? Man. Maybe... Maybe this is set in, like... Well, no, it's 2023, and this... I don't know. I don't know, man. Pills, beer, everywhere. <laughs> Seems like it would have been kind of a cool party. I like the little touches though of just like, here's this environment that hasn't been lived in for a while, so you sort of get like the nature reclaiming it everywhere. Must have taken quite some time to put it all together and stuff. I always appreciate like environmental art. Especially, like, Bethesda games usually did it pretty good. And telling miniature stories by just having just something out in the world like this. You just walk in on it and it's like, oh, wow. Huh. That's always nice. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. No God. more. No more mming. Hey, come here. Check Who this wrote out. this? Spike, don't leave me. I'm I'm too fresh to be abandoned. Probably like so much loot out here. Yeah, there is a little bit. Ah. Oh, it's just more collectibles. Man, so many of these things. At least they had each other. Classy. That, that was it. That okay. Or right, whatever. Spike, I'm coming. I'm on my way. This place is lame. If there's a way to toggle the sprint and just walk, I don't know what it is. Tried a few of the usual suspects. Yo, Spike, do I got a parkour up to you, or do these do they not have stairs when this house is built? No, I found the I found the stair spike. Never mind. Don't Don't worry about it. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it. By the owner's dead body. 
May it be of more use to you. Here. Ew. Where'd you find this beer at? Why is it already open? Don't drink that. Ew. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Ugh. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Uh, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. The Crane. I don't care what the game's canon and lore says. It's you, Aiden. I tracked down that guy for you. Oh god. What guy? Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. What's a pilgrim? Oh, <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> that bad feeling I got about you. It's coming back. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. When something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, and suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. No, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, <sighs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. A grubby bat. A rare one-handed stick. Oh, it's got maybe two mod slots on it. Alright, so do we actually have a day-night cycle proper now, or... I guess we'll find out. Pilgrim's Path. Escaping from the infected on an abandoned highway, I met a fellow pilgrim. Alright, Spike. Damage. 
Full health damage bonus plus 14%. Wow. Yeah, it's got a tip socket, a shaft socket, and a and a charm socket. Charms are just cosmetic though. Okay, so yeah, that would have been what the two dots there are then as mod slots. And then stuff. I might have to turn off the auto ledge grab thing. There's a few like accessibility options that are kind of nice. For the moment, they're all sort of on, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking I might pop them off a little bit. We ready for some combat? We got some dudes up ahead. Let's get them! Key, key, uh, is as fast as I can go. Uh, biters. Okay. Quite a bit more action-y. <laughs> Speaking of action, by default, I think they've got health bars over their heads. I turned that off, though. Also, uh, something about when dudes are sleeping in dark zones, I think there's like an, an awakened meter. Um, I've also got that turned off, so it's a little bit more like the first dying light was sort of the hope. Ah, okay, I do have a kick. Some resin. So I am a little bit afraid of nighttime. Uh, obviously, I don't know if the day night cycle is properly started. Plumber's hammer. Also. Oh, that's a, that's a white quality. Just a simple blunt blah, which... Can I, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll put that on too. Or three, I guess, is what it is. Alright. Sure. that yeah okay don't get closer they'll wake up so it's like a darker tunnely area and yeah they're sleeping and i'm assuming they would have had a bar over their head like a detection meter basically but again i've got that off if it becomes a problem we can turn it back on it's no problem i don't really mind i just wanted to get something a bit more dying light one-esque you could probably fight them. There's probably stuff inside the buses, like loot-wise. Probably. I don't really have the weapon durability for it, though, I think. So I will go around. Apparently I have to be quite close for them to wake up. I wonder if it's a Days Gone type thing where they're going to be awake at night so you just kind of get like a little horde wandering around. Get off my cliff. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> He's off. That's all I asked for, I suppose. <laughs> I think this is... In Dying Light 1, there was a quest that involved you... 
uh, like going out and turning on something, turning off something, and like the closer you got to the objectives and as you progressed, it gradually got darker. There wasn't an actual day-night cycle, but it was pretty effective, and I think it's doing it again here. I don't think we're actually on a day-night cycle yet. Oh. Oh. oh my god, parkour leveled up. I'm glad they kept this in, though. Far Cry 6. Not having the abilities in Far Cry 6 is weird, man. Having it attached to your clothing? Nah. Can work, but it was weird. I... I miss this type of system with, like, talent trees and stuff. I, I guess I have to get it. Oh, but I want to look. I got a plan. I jump higher and reach higher ledges. Hold spacebar to jump high. I already had. We tutorialed that. Okay. Maybe now I've got, like, even better ones. And then we can get press C just before landing. Oh, my God. Look how that looks out there. Man, it's so nice not having, like, sunset all the time. Everything just looks orange to me. Ugh. What is that jump that you've got? What? Hold on, play that again. Oh, I straight up gliding this dude. Wow. Make the last climb on ledges even when your stamina is gone and briefly maintain your grip when you land on ledges from great heights. Huh. And that's just, like, kind of sort of better at it? move faster on ledges than moving, and jump while climbing to get even right. Okay, yeah, uh, we'll take a look at all that stuff later on. For the moment, it kind of... Almost there. Just is what it is. Yeah, so now I could just, like, rocket jump. Man, that feels so weird and floaty. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. I won't mm -hmm. get any better than this. How convenient. I'm glad it's not gonna throw... Throw me into nighttime straight away. This is following a very similar pattern to the first Dying Light. Which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. I'd honestly just be happy with more of the beginning of Dying Light. I'd be happy with that. If, if it managed to keep that feel the entire time, That'd be really good. So it looks like we can jump up to there. And then... And then what? Just like, jump across? Okay. Wow. Alright. This is gonna take a bit of getting used to. Flashlight would be cool. Raggedy chopper. Common long axe? Hello? As medieval as it looks. Leaves nasty wounds. Hmm. And to pull that out. Okay, so three is just like scroll through my weapons. It's a big two-handed. I, I, I'm up with that. That's okay. That's her sleeping spot inside the wardrobe. Cool. Okay, that's a lot of rags I'm finding. I feel like I'm going to be needing more than one rag to make a Molotov when the time comes. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh. Oh, I see. We're just shoving this away to to reveal where we sleep. Okay, it's a little less uh, vampire-y this way, I suppose. All right, Crane. The Crane. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. Gangrene, common machete. Yoink. One-handed machete. So you can get used to uh, how sharp weapons perform differently than blunt weapons. Okay, um... I'm sorry, what are we doing now? 
Oh, turn on the power. Right. Also a thing we have to do. Ow! I'm fine. It actually doesn't hurt that much. That's, what, just two of them? No, nah, let's fight them real quick. It's okay. That's fine. I can try out my cool axe. Oh. What the hell is that? Okay. Combat basics. Some, enemy, some enemies use power attacks that deal massive damage and can knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, its health bar starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. Don't have a health bar visible. That's what the health bar looks like, though. That's nice. To perform a dodge, press space while moving to the back or side. All right, we'll um, see how that works. I think I'm doing it too early, maybe. Axe is nice. Really lopping off limbs. Maybe we go for some leg action, get him as uh, crawlers. Because they're quite healthy. All right, you. 1v1 me, bro. I said 1v1 me. What the hell? Okay, so you just like... Yeah, dash in midair and then come at me. Oosh. Okay, got it. Got it. So maybe I have to have health bars enabled at least for special ones. I don't know if there's an option for the... Maybe I just turn health bars on. Maybe it's not so bad. I don't know. I just thought maybe, maybe I could just live in the past, you know? <laughs> maybe I should just embrace the new features of the game and not be, uh, not be an old bastard. Health bar is enabled. I also upped the gamma a little bit. We'll see how it goes when it gets pitch black. I, I don't know. Ah, what? Hey. Yeah. yeah, light. We're good. Okay, and wait until morning. I'm assuming the music is cool, but I'm like incredibly suspicious of it because, uh, well, I know how games are nowadays. There's even like a, there's a streamer mode thing that I've got on that's supposed to mute the licensed music so I don't get in trouble by uploading it, but, um, hey, this would have been handy to have. Can also hold X to ignite it. Ah, we'll leave that there in case there's more stuff. Um, but I've got the streamer mode thing on so I don't get in trouble for music and it just like mutes the music that's licensed. But it, I don't really fully trust it. And I never will. So, yeah. You just unlocked the first safe zone, increasing your network of respawn points. All safe zones are equipped with UV light, which guarantees safety at night. Additionally, each safe zone offers access to a resting place, where you can change the day slash night phase, and Aiden's stash, where you can leave your excess items. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is all sounding very familiar. We can, uh... Yeah, I guess I... 
can hang on to these. I, I seem to still have a few slots. I got 5 out of 24 weapons, 1 out of 16 consumables. I think I'll be fine. Oh, we do have... Okay, those are pre-order bonuses, though, so we get to ignore those. I got a lot of pre-order garbage. Gonna be ignoring all of it, but eventually we get a grappling hook, apparently, and a paraglider. Oh. An artifact consumable. Wow. Yeah, and uh, all of that can be uh, completely ignored. Thankfully, it's in the extras tab instead of the general inventory, so it's easier to ignore. I do like that. It's not just thrust into my inventory automatically added or some such. Oh, wait until morning. Twelve, three, four, six. We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. So that was a lie. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. Oh, good one, game. 140, 200. I remember. It's like 420, but not quite. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. 
I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. Aiden, we gotta look at your thumb, dude. I'll see you later, Aiden. Could at least, like, wash it off a little bit. Alright, so much nicer looking when everything's not just orange. Man. So what about these other... other frequencies? No dice? Hmm. We don't have a map yet, I think, right? Yeah, no, no map yet. Still grayed out. Oh, was that my weapon breaking? Okay. I thought I could maybe, like, you know... Okay, yeah, Just chop that off. I'm a bit used to that being a thing. <laughs> uh... Uh... I mean... Well, at least I didn't have to climb to the top of this antenna. That works. Uh... Good one. Ah, uh. <laughs> man, this music is like way, way more upbeat than it needs to be, considering what's happening here. This is going to be really bad soon. Yeah. Oh! I don't have the stamina to climb this tower anyway. <laughs> so, so it, you're right, Aiden. It is a good thing we don't have to climb, though. I bet there's something up there, though. Nice place. Paradise Lost, Book Four. Another collectible thing. That's it, that's all. land on amortizers to avoid falling damage. I feel like there's a cinnamon... cinnamon? <laughs> Synonym that she could use. But my dumbass still wouldn't understand it because I can't English. Uh, what's the... Oh, like a wingsuit point or something? I'm not jumping. You kidding me? I know better than that. Hey, look, Lou. Oh. We can hold our breath for a decent little bit. That ain't too bad.
Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed up the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. So they can't swim. Like, at all. Good to note. Yeah, so sharp weapons were always, um... I think they were always generally a bit weaker than the blunt weapons overall. And their durability was lower. But they were so good at lopping off limbs that with a bit of skill, you just decapitate people. And, uh, it ended up being a much better bet down the line. Hoping I can get a combat level pretty soon, we can take a look at what that first combat skill was. I'm not getting a ton of experience with these guys, though. They're pretty lame. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Playing with the basic zombies will never get old to me. Always had such a fun time just messing with them. They're so simple. <laughs> 